Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, may their brothers and sisters who celebrate the memorial of St. Basil the Great and Gregory Nesiazen, Bishop and Doctors of the Church. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all invited to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. With humble heart we say, I, I confess, confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that they I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what, what I have done, done in what, what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give light to your church by the example and teaching of the bishops, saints Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the needs of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
a reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? Whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ, whoever denies the Father and the Son, this is the Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father, but whoever confesses the Son has the Father as well. Let what you heard from the beginning remain in you. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He made us, eternal life. I write you these things about those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you receive from Him remains in you, so that you do not need anyone to teach you. But his anointing teaches you about everything and is true and not false, just as it taught you remain in him. And now, children, remain in him, so that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be put to shame by him at his coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please stand. Times past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through His Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. You are the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent, and they asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? 
John answered them, I baptized with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang maligayang bagong taon po sa ating lahat, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and we are still enjoying the Christmas season, and as we welcome the new year since yesterday, and today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of Saints Basil and Gregory, both bishops and doctors of the church, and their lives, my dear brothers and sisters, were dedicated to the life of the church. Saint Basil, the father of monasticism, and Saint Gregory defended about the doctrine of the Trinity and noted for his knowledge of sacred scriptures. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, as we begin the new year, the second day, we are reminded to be firm of what we receive this Christmas season. I believe, my dear brothers and sisters, all of us, we feel the spirit of Christmas. We receive Jesus in our hearts. We receive Jesus in our life. And this is the manifestation, my dear brothers and sisters, to us of true and great love for all of us. Always remember, my dear brothers and sisters, the great love of God to us. Always bring with you with the truth that God is always with us. That is why St. John telling us today, who is a liar? Siguro po, sa panahon ngayon, walang sinungaling na hindi natanggap si Jesus sa ating buhay. Because in our first reading of today, whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, we are given the living God through Jesus, and we are proclaiming the Father as well. As we in the spirit of Christmas, my dear brothers and sisters, and even after the season of Christmas, we are called to be faithful children remain in Him so that when He appears, we may have confidence not to be put to shame. Sa patuloy po na ating paglalakbay sa buhay na ito, tayo po ay binibigyan ng lakas ng loob ng ating Panginoong Isus na Siyang ating pinagkukuhaan upang tayo'y magpatuloy na kumilos at gumalaw sa ating buhay. Nawa, mga kapatid, sa pagkilos natin, sa lakas na ginugugol natin araw-araw, makita si Jesus sa ating buhay. Tunay na maging manatili si Jesus sa ating buhay. Hindi po sana matapos ang pananatili ng Diyos sa atin ngayong Kapaskuhan. We are challenged of God today to be remain with Him every day. Sana po, patuloy tayong manatili sa biyayang ibinigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Patuloy na manatili na kasama ang Diyos sa ating buhay araw-araw. That is why in our Gospel today, St. John offers us an, an important lesson, not just about who He was and who Jesus Christ is, he also reminds us of what of the most important things we do in our words, in our lives, is to point to Jesus Christ. St. John, my dear brothers and sisters, gives us an example on how to continue our lives by bringing Jesus Christ. And we should proclaim Him in our action or deeds. It is in through us, 
mother, brothers, and sisters, let others learn Jesus, the message of love, peace, mercy, and justice. In this time, mother, brothers, and sisters, not only we do need to know for ourselves that Jesus is the source of our salvation, we also need to be like St. John, ready to proclaim Jesus to the whole world. Tayo pong lahat ay inaasahan ng Diyos na maging katulong ni San Juan Bautista upang ipakita sa si Jesus na dumating sa ating buhay, sa ating mundong ginagalawan. Be a witnesses of God's goodness every day. Be a witness of God's goodness every day. This is truly what we should do every day, starting yesterday, New Year, and the rest of our life. Be a witness of God's goodness every day. Truly, my dear brothers and sisters, this is our purpose every day, to proclaim Jesus in our action, to proclaim Jesus in our behavior. We proclaim Jesus in our relationship with one another. Sana po, manatili ito sa buhay natin. Sa pagpapakita ng kagandahang loob ng Diyos para sa ating lahat, tunay na manatili ang biyaya ng Diyos na siyang ipinagkakalob sa bawat isa sa atin. Huwag po natin kalimutan buhay ang Diyos na siyang tunay na ating daladala araw-araw. By our sincere and genuine actions that God is in us with humble heart, sana po magawa natin ito na ipahayag sa si Jesus araw-araw sa ating buhay. Indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, Christ lives in us and among us. Yet, many do not recognize it or reject it to do so, let us now, my dear brothers and sisters, continue to carry, to carry out the mission of preparing for the way of the Lord. He has already come, and He will, but He will come again to us. Again, my dear brothers and sisters, ito po ang panawagan sa atin ngayon sa simula ng panibagong-bagong taon na ating natanggap mula sa Diyos. Be a witness to Jesus who is in us consistently. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, St. John the Baptist considered himself unworthy to the work entrusted to him by God. Nevertheless, he fulfilled his mission in the spirit of service and humility. With that same spirit, let us approach the Father to assist us in our needs. And every petition we say, Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That the servants of the church may carry their tasks with humility and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, let, let your, your spirit, spirit be upon, upon us. That civil authorities may have the sincere intention of working for the welfare of all citizens and seeking the common good instead of their own interests. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let, let your, your spirit, spirit be upon us. That parents and teachers may inspire and encourage their children and students to persevere despite hardship and failure. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us. That the sick may feel secure by our love and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, let your spirit be upon us that the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. 
let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, Master, let your spirit, spirit be upon us. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. O Lord, through St. John, you teach us to become humble servants. Grant that we may follow an example and come to share your life in the kingdom where you are the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord and make what is offered to your glory in honor of Saints Basil and Gregory, a means of our eternal salvation, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May call it their for these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will afford out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are blessed worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be God unto one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Benedict XVI, you have called from this world to yourself. Grant he who was united with your son in death like his, may also one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Basil and Saint Gregory, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we are made to be coerced to eternal life, and I praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for him by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. As, As we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us, and, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the true source of our life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the skull to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for
Let us pray. May the partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Saints Basil and Gregory, that they may pres preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant your grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity and faith, endurance and hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the Lord. Amen. May in order your days, in your deeds, and his peace, and grant your prayers in this and every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.